welcome back to my channel. Today we're just going to get rid of our makeup, remove it, and just get our skin looking pretty good. And you guys, I just want to give you guys a skin update of how my skin is doing after the horrible, horrible, horrible incident that happened with Clinique's 7-day trial of the press vitamin C. And um, let's get to it. I can definitely tell you I still have some burning sensation going on here and there my skin is still semi peeling but it's doing a lot freaking better like don't get me wrong i absolutely love clinique's product especially their makeup remover like that thing is so good Woo! that was a lot of work like literally this makeup take off the day is so good i've also heard that their palm is good like the little um like the bomb one but i like using my pixie one um but definitely gotta remove these eyelashes first and they're like super glued on. Ugh. Usually guys, and I know this is so bad, I just peel off my eyelashes. But I know that it is so bad to do, but I know it's like it has a bad habit as well. So just make sure you just submerge a little bit of um, makeup remover to remove or even oil. And then it'll like slowly start coming off Ooh. a lot harder. Sometimes, so after I remove that, like I really do love this product, so I'm kind of downsided to that. The C formula didn't work. Um, so now that we have that going on, sometimes if I'm wearing like really, 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 really like super heavy makeup, I do go in with this. It's actually my second one. And I just start like removing it. Like for example, this is matte lipstick, so I just start removing this. Don't eat it. And it literally removes it like butter. Let me get let me get a tissue. Voila. Literally removed it like butter. I do think that the only downside is that it's very it's very floral. And if you're not a person who likes floral scents, you know this is a little bit strong. But other than that, I do like it. It is nurturing. It still kind of like burns my lips. I will not like on my lips, like around my lips because of what happened. But that's not that fault. That's the other fault. So let's start removing our makeup. I always remove my makeup with this sucker. It literally saves you so much wipes. It's literally like a buffer in one side and like a smoother in the other side. But you guys, this removes makeup so easily. All right now, so once we have this going on, I usually sometimes go ahead and wash my face. Right now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to scrub my lips because they're feeling a little bit dry. And I'm going in with my Holy Grail, which is a Jeffree Star one. This is a watermelon. It tastes as this. This is edible, you guys. You could eat this. All right now that we have that on. You could either lick it off, which I don't recommend you doing it because you are scraping out of your dead cells. But you should just wipe it off. We're going to go wash our face. And I'm going to be using, if I'm not mistaken, this one is her Goat Milk Moisturizer Cleaner. Now, right now, I really need something like to moisturize my face, to clean my face. Because, again, of what happened onto my skin and how the burning ended up being. I'm back from washing my face. Now, once I have that done, I'm going to go in with my Mario Batiscu. And this is a rose water. Just to make sure my skin is completely cleaned. Okay. And to also just give my skin a nice hydration temporarily. Alright, once we have this going on, we're going to moisturize our lips now. This is a Tatcha Gold Lips. Um, it's actually like one of my favorites. It's very, very moisturizing. A little bit does go a long way, but it feels so good on your lips. All right, now, now that we have that going on, we're going to moisturize. My hair is everywhere. We're going to moisturize our skin because now this has finally settled in and it's dry. Pericone MD Coat Plasma. And this is going to be for my under eyes. All right, so once that has dried into our skin, we're gonna move on into adding the serum. Now this serum is from Time in the Bottom, it's from Philosophy. And this is just like a wrinkled one, just to get rid of like the most smile lines that I have. As we let that dry down, something that has helped me out so much is Halo Beauty as well. Um, I actually did the Kiwi one for the whole week of last week. Like, I don't understand why did it took so long to take this. We're gonna let we're gonna take this as we wait. <clears throat> Literally, you guys, I have been consuming water so much because it's not only good for you, but I'm not a person who really likes drinking water. So what I've done is that 
if I drink a whole one of these, I could drink some coffee. I train myself to start drinking more water and in order to drink water, I get a reward off of it. So that's something that also has helped me with my skin, boosting it up because of the water that I'm consuming. And last but not least, literally I've been rotating a lot with moisturizers, but I'm gonna be using today this one, the Skin Active, which is from Garnier. And literally this is so freaking good. I'm not saying that my skin is amazing and it's like looking a beautiful, it's really going to take a lot of process for my skin to go back how it was. And to me, like all this leftover, the scarring, you know, I it could it will go away eventually. But this is how my skin is looking. I could definitely tell you that using Halo Beauty, using Kate Summers, using Garnier, using all of the products I'm mentioning right now helped me so much on clearing my skin and literally removing the peeling off of it. Now I did use Honey Pop to exfoliate and it burned so badly. But it burned because my skin is very sensitive right now. But I mean, other than that, it's been looking pretty good. I don't have anything else to say about it other than I am so far improving and I'm and we're going up. We are we're clearing this the fastest that we can to normal at least. You have to start going back again into trying sensitive products more than all-in-one products. Do not try all-in-one products if you have a chemical reaction. Do you gotta do sensitive skin products only so your skin can like repair faster. And that is and that it is, and that is what it is. I'll see you beauties in my next